Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about a cool topic. How to make lots of money fast. I cover everything about something called the Law of Assumption. The Law of Assumption is super powerful. It can help you get money really fast, basically. It says that whatever you believe is true will actually happen in your life. Once you decide something is true, it becomes real for you. Simply, if you think you're rich and have a lot, then you are. Don't think about not having enough. Think about having plenty. Believe that you deserve to be wealthy and have a lot. Now, let's get into my tips without waiting any longer. First of all, understand that what you have heard about money is not all true. Money doesn't have a set meaning. You can see it however you want. If you think money is hard to get, it probably will be. But if you believe it's easy to get, then money can actually be helpful and supportive, making you and others grow and comfortable. Then that is also true. You just think about it in this way. Are all your thoughts about money really true, or do you want them to be true in your life? When you discover thoughts and beliefs that don't match what you desire for your life, like abundance, comfort, freedom, or anything else, then it's important to identify those limiting beliefs and prove them wrong. Is money the source of all evil? No, money can be used for good. You can help your brother pay for his college or donate to charities with money. Does having more money mean more problems? Not necessarily. Having money can actually help solve many problems, like buying healthier food or paying for your child's education. Is it difficult to get money? No, money is everywhere. I used money to buy my camera, phone, and other equipments. Money is all over the place. The people you talk to make money, and the businesses you visit receive money. You don't have to delve deep into healing your inner child. And all the money obstacles you've had since you were a baby, understand that at this moment, money is neutral, and it can symbolize whatever you choose. Personally, I'm deciding that money loves me, backs me, and is completely obsessed with me. Tip number two, and it is very important. Focus on how you see yourself. You deserve money just as you are. From the moment you were born, you don't have to work extra hard or do anything special to deserve it. Think about your mom. Does she need to do something special to deserve happiness, safety, security, financial freedom, comfort, and all the good things in life? It's like being loved. You don't need to do anything specific to be loved. A newborn baby doesn't do anything special to be loved. They're just there. That hasn't changed. It's still the same as we've aged. Our value and deservingness have it diminished. Consider this for yourself. Money, simply a tool for security, comfort, freedom, pursuing your dreams, being your true self, and acquiring what you desire. You deserve all of that now. Tip number three. Focus on manifesting the sensation of freedom. Rather than solely chasing after money, this doesn't mean you should disregard money altogether, as it holds significant importance. We value money on this channel, yet, solely pursuing money can sometimes feel unclear and arbitrary, leaving us unsure of its true significance. So, think deeply. How does money affect your emotions? What drives your pursuit of money? Consider the activities you plan to undertake with money. Do you aim for a more luxurious vacation? A better education? Why do you seek improvement? For an enhanced quality of life? Keep questioning yourself until you uncover the core reasons. Typically, these motivations revolve around freedom, happiness, peace, security, and comfort. So, I'm truly passionate about manifesting financial freedom and overall freedom. What does that signify for me? It means having the ability to purchase all the clothes I desire, style my hair as I please, and access all the skincare products I wish for, essentially. 
It's about reflecting my inner self outwardly, that's one aspect of it. The next aspect is having the freedom to travel anywhere I desire on this planet at any given moment, living life to the fullest without limitation. Thirdly, it involves feeling secure, having a safe and spacious home, and being comfortable. These are just some of the aspects. And the more we remind ourselves why we are manifesting money, the more motivated we become. All right, now let's dive into the exciting part. Tip number four. Decide clearly what you want to manifest. Being clear doesn't necessarily mean being specific. You can keep it general if you prefer. And I often suggest this because being too specific can create resistance. Therefore, you can opt for a broad approach, such as stating, I am manifesting financial freedom, or you can be more precise, like saying, I am manifesting earning $15,000 a month. However, the crucial point is to ensure clarity about what you are manifesting. Fifth tip, make the decision as if it's already accomplished. This isn't just a quick choice. It's about seizing this moment. Decide that I already possess this sum of money, whether it's $15,000 monthly or broadly financial freedom. Make that decision now and there's no turning back for me. It's akin to quantum jumping. I've chosen not to exist in a reality where I don't earn $15,000 a month. It's not something that's on its way. I possess it now. I'm already earning $15,000 monthly. That's final. Anything contrary to this is absurd because I have already made up my mind. And there's no turning back. Now, at tip number six, determine which technique you will employ to reinforce the notion that it's already accomplished. Decide on the timing for its implementation and maintain consistency. I enjoy employing various techniques tailored to specific needs and choosing them based on my current inclination. For instance, presently, my focus is solely on manifesting 100,000 subscribers Utilizing the subconscious attentional selection method, I refrain from exerting pressure on myself to engage in tasks that feel laborious because I already possess what I seek. Therefore, there's no need for additional effort. The sole purpose of dedicating attention to this technique is to serve as a reminder of its attainment. Allow me to share with you my preferred techniques for manifesting money, starting with visualization. In this method, we create a looped scene lasting five seconds that suggests the possession of $15,000. When visualizing, I personally envision myself unlocking my phone, accessing my banking app, and discovering a balance of $10,000. This mental image serves as a reminder that such abundance is a regular occurrence in my life, occurring monthly, of course. You may find it beneficial to review PayPal invoices or monthly paychecks for similar reinforcement, regardless of whether it aligns with conventional logic. If I'm engaging in visualization, I prefer a more straightforward approach, especially when aiming to drift off to sleep. My objective isn't to create distractions, but to ease into relaxation. Therefore, I simply visualize a mental image of $15,000 in my bank account. This process involves smoothly transitioning this image from conscious awareness to drowsiness and eventually to unconsciousness. Many people inquire me, how do I achieve that? There is no fixed formula. It's essentially about maintaining a mental image and allowing yourself to naturally drift into sleep. We're not exerting pressure or forcing anything. Similar to falling asleep without any particular thought, our process involves simply holding an image in our mind until sleep naturally overtakes us. It's as straightforward as that. For the second technique, I practice affirmations. My go-to affirmations include phrases like money loves to support me and I am worthy and deserving of money. These affirmations resonate with me the most. I also create specific affirmations, such as I'm earning $10,000 a month, keeping it straightforward. Additionally, 
I find affirmation in statements like money is absolutely obsessed with me. Choose affirmations that ignite excitement and motivation regarding money. As for the third technique, I am particularly fond of scripting. I find immense joy and satisfaction in it, and like affirmations, scripting offers a more nuanced approach. I treat it akin to writing in my diary, where I depict myself already earning $15,000 a month. Right from the start, I express my gratitude and joy, envisioning a life of abundance. I visualize myself feeling secure and financially liberated, free from the constraints of a traditional 9-to-5 job with each word. I reinforce the belief that my financial freedom is not only achievable, but inevitable. I embrace the idea that money is drawn to me, eager to support and nurture me. The fourth technique involves subliminals, which I personally adore. I often listen to them when I'm feeling bored as they energize and motivate me, yielding tangible results. Below, I'll provide links to my preferred money subliminals, however. It's crucial to exercise caution and discernment when selecting subliminal content. Avoid channels with limited views or questionable credibility, as they may inadvertently hinder your progress or cause unwanted effects, including unsettling dreams. Be selective in choosing subliminal channels and videos to ensure positive outcomes. Tip number seven, stop giving importance to money. Acknowledge that manifesting a hundred thousand dollars is equally achievable as manifesting one dollar. It's crucial to understand that money's value is subjective. As your income increases, specific amounts may seem trivial. For instance, if you're a millionaire, a hundred thousand dollars isn't a lot of money, much like a million dollars to a billionaire. As a child, ten dollars seemed like a significant amount, but now it holds the value of mere pocket change due to my increased earnings and the higher cost of living. Reflecting on my initial experiences with a full-time salary, I recall feeling immensely wealthy and grateful. However, as I progressed in my career, receiving promotions and raises, my perspective shifted. Looking back at my entry-level income from just a year ago, it now seems insignificant. Our perception of money is subjective. It is what we make of it. So why not start afresh and regard the money we're manifesting as inconsequential? Alternatively, we can alleviate resistance by acknowledging that achieving $100,000 per month may seem unattainable. We can adjust our goals downwards to $10,000, $8,000, or $6,000 and gradually increase from there. If resistance persists, we can further reduce the target amount. Here's tip number eight. Realize that your potential is truly boundless. You're not limited to earning money solely through a regular income or from a specific source. Take, for instance, individuals who dress up as MySpace scene kids from 2010 and earn thousands of dollars. Some utilize platforms like Feet Finder, while others explore avenues like online fans. I understand that you may acknowledge this concept in theory, but you might not believe it applies to you. However, I'm here to assure you that it does. There's a myriad of ways to generate income beyond traditional means. It could involve receiving money unexpectedly, receiving gifts, stumbling upon cash, or walking down the street, or even winning the lottery. The possibilities are endless, as they say, with this we conclude today's video. If this video resonated with you, I encourage you to express your support by liking and subscribing to our channel. Share this content with others, allowing them to glean insights from the message. Take a moment to drop a comment below, sharing your thoughts, reflections, and personal experiences. Thank you once more for tuning in and accompanying me on this journey. Until next time, take care and goodbye.